So here we're displaying a um, list of quizzes that we are retrieving from a remote API, and we are dynamically rendering it as a list of quizzes. Right? So what we'd like to be able to do is now perhaps uh, navigate to a component that has detailed information about each one of these quizzes. And we know that uh, these, these quizzes are, are basically collections of questions. Right? A, one quiz has many questions, and there's different types of questions. So let's see if we can retrieve uh, na navigate to a quiz component, which we can then perhaps uh, from there uh, retrieve the list of questions for each one of the quizzes. Uh, so to do that, what what uh, we can do is um, is create another component that will be responsible for uh, for rendering a particular quiz. So let's create a component that does that. So from here, we're going to use ng to generate a brand new component. We'll call it quiz. So this will be the quiz component, which presumably is going to be a collection of questions. All right there it is. It creates the four artifacts that make up the quiz, and and we're going to um, we're going to um, map it in our route. Right, we're going to map it to maybe something like um, you know quizzes. If you give me the ID of the quiz, right, then I will uh, display the quiz component. The quiz component. There it is. All right, so we know that we can navigate uh, easily if we say quizzes, and if you give me some ID, right, it navigates to the quiz component. But really, we want to do it by clicking on, on one of these uh, quizzes, right? So we can do that and from the quizzes component. We can make each one of these um, line items into hyperlinks. Let's do that. Let's uh, wrap this uh, quiz title. With a with an anchor uh, that is uh, going to render this as a hyperlink. So, there you go. Uh, so so what we're going to do here is that instead of using the anchor href, uh, we're going to use router link. So router link, and router link is going to render uh, this URL that we want to go to. Right. So it's quizzes slash quizzes slash and then the ID. So this will be quizzes right, followed by a placeholder and this placeholder will be the uh, the actual quiz object and then the underscore ID. Right? If, uh, if I come here and now I hover over this, I don't know if you can see on this corner, on the left bottom corner, if I hover over quiz one, it's notice that it says quizzes one, two, three, quizzes two, three, four, quizzes three, four, five. So if I click on one of them, notice that indeed I am encoding the ID of the quiz and as part of the URL. Uh, say, so if I go back and I go to quiz two, notice that it's two, three, four. I can use that information from the quiz component to go fetch the information about that specific quiz and then render it here in the in the quiz component. 